Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this. So first what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go find a pretty flat wall. Right, like this area would be good right here. Uh, you know, nothing like this. It's not really flat. And, you know, doors have to be flat. So now you're going to want to get two command blocks. And for the video, I'm just going to leave them out in the open. But if this was on a server, you'd want to hide them somewhere. All right, now you're going to want to decide where you want to put the door. So I'll put it right here. The door is just going to be one block long, two blocks tall. You can make it as long as you want. Now you're going to want to push F3 to open up this menu. And you're going to want to type in um, the coordinates here at the looking at section. So type in slash fill 613A166. Since this block is two blocks tall, then that's it. Nothing else needs to be changed except for the Y coordinate in the middle. So that becomes 80. One block. One number lower, 66. And air to open the door. All right, now that we have that done, we can go here, push the up arrow to bring this back. Control all and control copy to paste it to copy it. And control V to paste it into the console here. Except for one of them you're gonna to want to change it to the block that the surface is made out of, so here it's stone. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So now you can do whatever you want in here. You could I don't know, just dig out a hole. Whatever, do make beautiful masterpieces like this. Amazing. Anyways. You can see here it works. Close and open. If when you're opening and closing the door you get this message saying that blocks filled and you don't want it to be there, you can easily fix that by typing in slash game rule command block output false and the capitals matter here. So then after that you will not get any messages when you open and close the door. Alright, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.